Hey guys, what's up? This is Vignesha from Phone Arena. This is week 22 of 2018 and you're watching Phone Arena Weekly. First up, Vivo has launched its first smartphone with in-display fingerprint scanner at the Indian market as promised at the price of Rs 35,990. Talking about the specifications, the smartphone sports a 6.28 inch Full HD Plus 19 Super AMOLED display and it is powered by Octa-Core Snapdragon 660 chipset. The Vivo X21 comes with a 3D glass body, features a dual rear camera with 12 megapixel primary sensor and a 5 megapixel secondary rear camera to capture the depth information. It also has an artificial intelligence screen recognition that can automatically detect 17 scenes. On the front side, it is taken care of 12 megapixel front facing camera that has an AI beauty recognition for perfect selfies. Both the rear and front camera have a dual pixel technology for fast focus and better low lighting images. The Vivo X21 comes just in black color and is now available on Flipkart as well as Vivo's online store. Vivo launched its second smartphone in the Indian market under the mid-range segment with a Helio P22 processor and Android 8.0 Oreo at a price of Rs 14,990. In terms of specifications, the Vivo Y83 sports a 6.22 inch HD plus screen with 19 inch aspect ratio display. It has a 13 megapixel rear camera with LED flash and a 8 megapixel front facing camera with artificial intelligence beauty feature and face unlock. Just like Vivo X21, the Vivo Y83 comes just in black color and is available on offline stores across India. After a long gap, Xiaomi has launched its latest flagship smartphone dubbed as Mi 8 with a Snapdragon 845 chipset and a dual rear camera setup. The Mi 8 sports a 6.21 inch FHD Plus AMOLED display from Samsung with a notch and has a 88.5% screen to body ratio. This smartphone is powered by Snapdragon 845 chipset with up to 8 gigs of RAM and runs on Android 8.1 Oreo with MIUI on top. It has a 12 megapixel dual rear camera setup and a 20 megapixel front facing camera with support for AI portrait selfies with a real time background blur. The Mi 8 has a fingerprint sensor on the back and packs a 3400mAh battery with the support for Quick Charge 4 Plus. Along with Mi 8 and Mi 8 Explorer Edition, Xiaomi has launched Mi 8 SE with Snapdragon 710 chipset under the hood. This smartphone sports a 5.88 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display from Samsung with a notch that has a 86.12% of screen to body ratio. This smartphone runs on Android 8.1 Oreo with MIUI 9 on top. It has a 12 megapixel rear camera along with a 5 megapixel secondary rear camera to capture the depth information for portrait shots. Just like Mi 8, it also has a 20 megapixel front facing camera with AI portraits and AI beautifications that uses a pixel binding technology. Samsung has launched its latest smartphone under Galaxy J series dubbed as J4 that comes under a mid range segment at the price tag of Rs 9,990. The smartphone comes with a 5.5 inch Super AMOLED 16 inch 9 aspect ratio display powered by Samsung's very own Exynos 7570 quad core processor with the 2 gigs of RAM. It packs a 13 megapixel rear camera and a 5 megapixel front facing camera with LED flash on both sides. The Samsung Galaxy J4 comes in black, blue, and gold colors and starts at Rs. 9990 for the 2GB RAM variant and 11990 for 3GB RAM variant exclusively on offline stores. Alongside the launch of Mi 8 smartphones, Xiaomi has also launched the most expected Mi Band 3 at an event in China. Talking about the specifications, the Mi Band 3 comes with a 0.78 inch OLED display compared to 0.42 inch in the Mi Band 2. It also has a 5ATM waterproof so that you can take it for swimming under 50 meters. Xiaomi says that it has improved the activity tracking and it shows the real time data for running, cycling, walking and other activities. It still has a button on the front and you can view the caller name on the band and reject the call with a long press of the button. It has a larger 110mAh battery that promises about 20 days of standby time. Recently, Mizu has announced yet another budget smartphone at an event in China dubbed as 6T. This smartphone packs a 5.7 inch HD plus 2.5D curved glass display with an aspect ratio of 18 to 9. This smartphone is powered by Octa Core MediaTek MT6750 processor and runs on Android 7.0 Nougat with Flyme OS on top. It has a dual rear camera setup that corresponds to 13 megapixel and 2 megapixel secondary rear camera to capture the depth information for portrait shots. The front is taken care of 5 megapixel camera. The Mizu 60 comes in black, gold, and red colors and starts at 719 nuance, which is approximately Rs. 8600. This week, LG has launched its V35 ThinQ three months after the launch of V30S ThinQ at MWC 2018. 
The smartphone retains a 6-inch QHD Plus OLED display, 6GB RAM, IP60 rating for dust and water resistant. The smartphone comes with a 3300mAh battery with the Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 technology. It has a Snapdragon 845 chipset under the hood and also has a 16MP rear camera and a 16MP secondary camera with 107 degree super wide angle lens. The front side is taken care of improved 8MP camera, same as G7 ThinQ. After lots of rumors and speculations, Lenovo has confirmed the launch of its next flagship smartphone dubbed as Z5 with a bezel-less display at an event in Beijing on June 5th. The company CEO already confirmed that the phone has 18 patented technologies implemented and the phone will have an artificial intelligence powered dual deer camera. However, he busted the rumors that said that it will have an in-display fingerprint scanner. According to the earlier rumors, the phone will have over 95% screen to body ratio powered by Snapdragon 845 chipset and a larger battery with support for fast charging up to 45 days standby time. Alongside the launch of Mi Band 3 and the Mi 8 smartphones, Xiaomi has also introduced MIUI 10 that will be rolled out in China later this month. Now, Xiaomi India has shared a video for MIUI 10 and also says that it will be coming soon to the Indian market. So, the company is expected to roll out the details of the global ROM at the Redmi Y2 event on June 7th. Even Xiaomi's India's Vice President and Managing Director Manu Jain has shared a teaser hinting at the MIUI 10 global launch.